How we doing everybody? This is the Pop Music Freak back with another Song Facts Countdown video. We're up to song number 901. It was the first hit for this big soft rock duo who dominated the charts second half of the 1970s. I'm talking about England Dan and John Ford Coley. Their biggest hit, this little song called I'd Really Love to See You Tonight, is number 901 on my list. Here are the song facts. All right. I'd really love to see you tonight. Song written by Parker McGee and recorded by England Dan and John Ford Coley for their 1976 album Nights Are Forever. It eventually peaked as high as number two on the Billboard Hot 100 for two weeks. Only Wild Cherries play that funky music deprived it of number one. But it was number one on the adult contemporary chart and Billboard ranked it as the number 21 biggest hit of 1976. It also reached number 26 on the UK singles chart. <clears throat> Dan Seals, the England Dan, half of the duo, <clears throat> re-recorded the song in 1995 in an acoustic country music style for his album In a Quiet Room, and it charted on the bottom of the country chart. <clears throat> but the big hit was done together with John Ford Coley. Okay, uh, when was it uh, recorded? According to this, it was recorded around February of 76, and was released in May and recorded at Studio by the Pond in Hen Hendersonville, Tennessee. Uh, definitely soft rock would be the genre. Uh, and it started them on a, on a string of hits, a string of pop, easy listening and country hits through the rest of the 70s, <clears throat> although they would kind of fade away by 1980. Uh, they both ended up having successful country careers, especially Dan Seals, certainly. All right. Uh, so what else can I talk to you about? It's not a huge amount of info on it, but I can give you the chart statistics. In Australia, it reached number 25. In Canada, it got as high as number 5. It got to number 1 on the adult contemporary chart in, in Canada, as it did in New York, in the um, U.S. Uh, New Zealand, it reached number 15. And as I mentioned, in the U.K., it got as high as number 26. Uh, in a cash box, it got as high as number 4. So on the year-end charts, actually... For uh, 1976, it was ranked number two on the adult contemporary chart for the year of 76, number 21 on the pop chart, as I mentioned. Uh, Cashbox ranked at number 47. Now, in terms of cover versions, there were several. Uh, D.D. Sharp Gamble covered the song on a 1977 album, What Color Is Love? Uh, Reba McIntyre and Jackie Ward covered the song in 1978. It's part of a double-sided single with three sheets in the wind. Uh, Ian McShane covered the song in 1992 from his album, Both Sides Now. Barry Manilow covered it on his 1996 album, Summer of 78, where he did a lot of remakes of other artists' 70s hits. Uh, Charlie McGettigan and Paul Harrington covered it on their album, Rock and Roll Kids. And Lilo Thomas covered the song in 2010 on the LP, uh, Come and Get It. So... That's where we stand on that. It would be the first of several hits. They would hit with uh, the title track from the album, Nights of Forever Without You. At the end of 76, that would go to number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, there would be a couple of uh, small hits, smaller hits in 77. Um, it's Sad to Belong and Gone Too Far, both charted uh, on the pop chart. I think it's Sad to Belong was like number 21, if I, can, if I remember correctly. 1978, they hit the top 10 with Nights of, uh, well, no, uh, We'll Never Have to Say Goodbye Again, hit number 9 in 1978. And then in 1979, they did a remake of a Todd Rundgren Utopia's uh, Love is the Answer, which was their final top 10 record, hitting number 10 in the spring of 79. And then they kind of f faded out from that point on. It seems as if that kind of laid back soft rock is kind of replaced by the Journey air supply kind of soft rock that was a little more guitar involved a little closer to rock but if you know what i mean so it's a time time kind of changed there for them um there were a lot of acts from the mid to late 70s that kind of fizzled out once we hit the 80s but that's how it goes but they had a good run certainly and this was the start of that good run with i really love to see you tonight so this is number 901 on my list of my 1000 favorites of all time um so I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you share it. I hope you like it. I hope you subscribe. I hope you hit the bell. I'll let you know when I'm going to be putting out new videos. Generally, I'm trying to do two a day. There'll be days I might do three because I know I'm not going to be able to do any a certain day. 
but I'm gonna be relatively steady here because we got a long way to go. We got 900 videos to go. So thank you very much for watching this. I am gonna post a link to a music video for this song in my description. All right, so look for that. And thank you all so much, and I wish you peace and love.